Hi, welcome everyone to the first section of the course. In this section of the course, we will see how DALI works. We'll get started with DALI by creating an account. We will see how the pricing of DALI works and then we will also see the copyright terms and conditions. So let's get started. And what's up everybody, welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will be creating an account on DALI 2. So let's go ahead and inside Google, search for DALI 2. Here you can see that this is also a project of OpenAI, just like ChatGPT. I'll just click over here. We are inside this website. Let's click Try DALI 2. So here you can see you can log in with your Google account. Continue with Google. And then you can click on your Google account. Okay, write down your name and click continue. Here you need to uh, write your phone number and send code via SMS. And after doing this, you will be entered in inside uh, DALI 2. I'll just write my phone number and verify this. So you can see we are inside DALI 2. And in the next video, I will show you how to use DALI 2 to create stunning images. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, let's see how DALI is priced. Here you can see we are inside DALI and we can generate images by giving the prompt over here. But before we do that, let's see how DALI pricing works. When you first log in to the DALI, you get 50 free credits. Here you can see my credits are left, but three credits are left here. But you get 50 free credits that you can use. And each time you generate an image, you lose one credit. Okay, so basically I can generate an image inside Bali 33 more times. Okay, so if I, uh, after that, after uh, I'm done with it, I can click here, buy credits and I can buy more credits. Okay, basically you can use Dali 50 times uh, before you need to buy more credits. And that is enough for you to test. And if you later want to uh, buy Dali credits, then you can go here and buy them. Here you can see for $15, you get 115 credits, which is approximately 13 cents per credit. Okay. So basically you can generate an image with Dali for 13 cents. Okay. So image with Dali is 13 cents each. Okay. So uh, you can go and uh, you can buy 30 uh, for 30 US dollars and 230 images will be good uh, for you uh, and it will last you for a month maybe okay so as i am using it uh, i need of course more because i'm teaching it here uh, but of course uh, you don't need that much if you are starting out just start with that 50 free credits and then you can buy more and after one more you can use dali as well and uh, in later course i will also teach you how to sell these um, generations so basically you can make money and then you can um, use that money to basically buy more credits over here so that is it for uh, today's video we'll move move to the next video so welcome back and let's talk about the commercial use dali whether you can use the image that you created uh, with Dolly uh, to sell them uh, on any platform online. So basically, uh, Dolly allows you to sell your images online. You can see here, subject to content policy and terms. So there are policies and terms, you can read that. But you you own the images you create with Dolly. So basically, anything you created with Dolly, you own it. And including the rights to reprint, you can print it, you can sell them, and you can use them inside your much life. I will show you all of these things uh, later in the course that how to sell your merchandise. But basically right now, uh, here is uh, the proof that you can basically uh, sell your work uh, that you created with Dali, uh, regardless of whether the image was generated with free or pay credit. So you're using a free credit, uh, the free 50 credits that we get, or you are using the paid credit, you have the right to use your image, you can sell your image, you can reprint it, you can use it in the merchandise. Okay, I'll show you all those things as well. But right now, 
Uh, just make sure that uh, there is no copyright issues uh, in selling your Dolly work because you own it because you created it with the help of AI. So that's all about uh, commercial use of Dolly. Let's write, um, jump right into Dolly and let's learn how to create stunning images. Hi everyone. In this section of the course, we will start creating AI art with Dolly. We will explore different concepts and we will see which type of content we create with the help of Dali. We will also go through the Dali outpainting editor. So let's get started. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will see how Dali 2 works. If uh, So this is the main interface of Dali. If I scroll down, I can see the base prompts that people have given Dali and created different unique images. For example, if I hover over this one, a computer from 90s in the style of Vaporwave. So basically, you can see also the style of Vaporwave, how it looks like, and you can see that it is a computer from 90s. Pretty simple. So here you can see a 3D render. So it's a 3D picture. So you can see inside the prompt as well, a 3D render of an astronaut walking in a green desert. So basically, we have to give uh, the prompt that this is a 3D render that we want to create, then Opt will create, and then DALI 2 will create a 3D render. So here you can see that this is a style painting, okay, gauche style painting of an American football player. So, okay, so this is also uh, a, a type of uh, thing DALI can do, which is a gauche style painting. Okay, so if I come over here, a ball in a soup that is also portal to another dimension, digital art. So you can see that this is uh, kind of a digital art thing. So, uh, plush toy robot sitting against the yellow wall. So it's really um, uh, a simple. Uh, so a cartoon of monkey in space. Okay, so this is a cartoonish image as you can see. So we have given a prompt of a cartoon of monkey. So here you can see this is a sketch, uh, so hand drawn sketch of a Porsche 911. So it's a sketch. Here is a sculpture. So it must include the word sculpture as you can see over here. So here you can see some unique things like a photo of a teddy bear on a skateboard in time scale. This is also a good uh, image. So basically we can uh, give Dali the information of an image that we want to create and Dali will create that for us. For, so if we come over here, so let's say we also want to create a 3D render. 3D render of a banana. So let's create a banana. Uh, okay, so let's try to give banana some characteristics that does not exist within a banana. So it's unique. Uh, 3D of banana jumping with its legs from a building. Maybe let's do it from a building on a skateboard. So it's very, um, I want to make it really interesting. So it's 3D rent of banana jumping with its legs. So I want to mention that Nana has legs from building on a skateboard uh, in a sunny day on a sunny day. So let's see what Dali comes up with. We have given Dali our prompt. Uh, so the more information you add, the more uh, unique prompt will be, I think. So let's see what uh, Dali comes up with. Wait for a couple of seconds and Dali will generate for you. Uh, four responses based on your prompt that you have given Dali. So let's see. <coughs> so here you can see our banana has legs and it's jumping from a building on a skateboard. So uh, these three look good, but this one, I really love this one. So whenever you like something, just click on it and you can download it from here. And this is the art that you created. So, okay, so this is uh, your art. Uh, that you created with the help of Dali. You don't need any 3D softwares now. You, you can just create a render with the help of Dali. That's really great thing. Okay, this is good. But if let's say uh, I like this one and I want to create some variations because uh, in this case, I am seeing that we are on a building and we can see stuff uh, down there, there, but there is no indication of seeing anything down from the building. So basically I like this one. So if we want to create the variations uh, that are similar to this one, just click on variations. And with the help of this, we can also create more variations of the stuff that we created that we liked. Okay, so let's see what Dali comes up with. Um, 
and the stuff that is related to our image that we like. You have 10 credits left, 15 free credits will refill on March 28 or make you can buy more. So basically we have um, a free account of Tali so we can just create a few images. But that's fine. Um, we can always upgrade later. Let's see. Um, I think I like the first one better. So um, I have already downloaded it. We can go and search for other stuff as well. So what I'm going to do is click on Dali here. So here you can see that there is another option called surprise me. If I click over here, you can see that Dali creates a prompt as well. So it has created a prompt for itself. So basically it uses chat GPT to create a prompt. Teddy bear shopping for groceries, one line drawing. Okay, so we can, you can also do this if you are experimenting and click on generate. An astronaut playing ba uh, basketball with cats in space, <laughs> digital art. So let's see what uh, Dali comes up with in uh, regards to this feature as well. Let's wait a couple of seconds and see what, <laughs> what it is surprising us or not. Wait for a couple of seconds because you know Dali generates images, uh, so it takes some time. So basically, astronaut playing basketball with cats in space. You can see this is a astonishing images that you uh, really. If I wanted to create this image uh, in Photoshop or inside Blender, it could take me hours to create. But with the help of Dali, it is really really simple to create, and I like this one because it's a realistic looking image. This one is um, more like painting and this one is also good. And you can you can see here the hoop also. So this one is good as well. I like this one. So it, this one is still loading. I'll just click on here. I really like this one. I can just download. Okay, so you can also uh, do freelancing with this stuff. You can give services of Dali on Fiverr as well. I'll show you uh, in the later videos how to do that. but. For this video, it's it. Uh, let's move on to the next video. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will be discovering and exploring DALI. First of all, let's see how type, which types of uh, content that DALI can create. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you different unique prompts and content that you can generate. Let's say, uh, first of all, we can generate a sketch. Like for example, if you, are, if you want a sketch of uh, a polar bear in a zoo. So basically, we want a sketch of polar bear inside a zoo. If I click generate, uh, so Dali knows that you want a sketch, not a photo, not a digital art, not anything like a render, but we want a simple sketch. Uh, a we uh, did not mention a pencil sketch, but let's see uh, what Dali does with the, uh, the prompt of sketch. Of a polar bear in a zoo. So now you can see that uh, our uh, so our generation is ready. This is a sketch of a polar bear in a zoo. You can see that there are different variations. Uh, I like uh, this one. This one looks like more like a sketch. Uh, I can just download it here. I also like this one, but it's less like a sketch. You can download this as well. You can uh, edit this. Uh, you can go with variations, but I'm not going to do that. For, so, you know, Chad, uh, Dali <coughs> understands that you're looking for a set, sketch. Okay. So if I go over here, you can see I add a photo of a bottle filled with sand in sand. So a bottle is also filled with sand and it's inside sand. So basically, uh, we have given a prompt of photo, so it looks like a photo, okay? So like, just like taken with a camera, this represents what I'm looking for. I can download this, like this, okay? You can go uh, and search for other things like a monkey diving in an ocean of blood. That's scary. But I have added here that I want a digital art. So this looks like digital art. So you can uh, try stuff like a digital art, a photo, maybe uh, you want a sketch, or you can use uh, something like oil painting of something. Like uh, you can also use 3D render that we used previously as well. You can generate a 3D render of something. You can use stuff like a cartoon, a cartoon of a bear, for example. 
can also use something like a sculpture okay you can want to create a sculpture of um, uh, for example leonardo da vinci etc etc another thing that you can do is you can create anything in style of another artist for example if i go over here and search for cyberpunk so if you see cyberpunk uses a special style to create uh, all of these futuristic images so if you want to create uh, for example uh, a female character with black jacket in style of cyberpunk let's say so in style of cyberpunk just like these i want to create a female character with black jacket let's see what uh, dali gives us with regards to it we got our results and can see these are pretty close so if i go over here and see one of these images like this girl over here so i can see that uh, so it has the blue and pink vibe uh, so okay blue and pink colors there are uh, a lot of views over here and the female character is also in black jacket and the hairstyle is good good i like it so this one is uh, quite futuristic this one is also cool about uh, you know for example uh, you can change the background as well but for this one uh, let's stay with this let's say we like this one we can download it let's go back and let's search for something else so let's say uh, now we know that we can generate art in style of other people so let's generate um, a, a 3d render of planet of a, of a blue planet full of water in style of people so you know people is a very famous uh, 3d artist you can, if you search on google you can see that he creates uh, a lot of art and he's uh, an art, crypto artist and a billionaire of course so here you can see uh, this art uh, i think it was sold for 69 million dollars so his art is really really unique uh, in its own way so let's see if uh, dali is able to understand the prompt and able to create uh, art like these so let's see a uh, 3d render of a blue planet full of water full of water in style of people so it uh, tries to replicate a style of people in its artwork as well of course uh, it will also take into account the blue planet full of water so i like this one very good you can download it go back and let's search for something else let's say uh, do you know who leonardo da Fin uh, da vinci is leonardo da vinci so uh, leonardo da vinci has its own unique art um, unique style of drawing you know okay so if i go into leonardo da vinci drawings so you can see uh, it creates drawings in this ancient uh, style so this is also a good style so let's try to create something in style of leonardo da vinci let's copy his name let's go and let's try to create um, so there were no smartphones back then so let's try to create uh, um, smartphone smartphone in style of leonardo da vinci because there was no smartphone back then let's uh, see if uh, dali can understand and create uh, a smartphone in style of leonardo da vinci so let's see what dali comes up with so here you can see it comes up with the drawing but uh, let's mention smartphone drawing in style of leonardo da vinci because they are these are not drawings let's see if uh, uh, dolly comes up with the drawing like these after a small wait i don't think that a dolly is picking it but uh, let's write it in this way in leonardo da vinci style smartphone drawing 
So I think uh, there were no smartphones back then. So that's why Bali may be struggling, but let's see. So, okay. Uh, so let's change it from smartphone to something else like a monkey drawing of a monkey in style of Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, I forgot to move this style. So let's see uh, what the results are. Drawing of a monkey in Leonardo da Vinci style. So now ChatGPT uh, or Dali uh, in case understands what type of drawing I wanted. So it was uh, misunderstanding with the, uh, you know, smartphone thing, but because there were no smartphones back then. So here you can see Leonardo da Vinci style. And here you can see it created uh, a monkey and same type of paper style and all that. You can download it. So basically, if you like any artist like Leonardo da Vinci or any other artist online, you can uh, ask Dolly to create uh, an art related to the style of that art. So that is very unique uh, when it comes to creating art with Dolly. You can give prompts and you can tell uh, which artist you want Dolly to replicate. That is also really good. Let's meet in the next video. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be learning about Dali's outpainting. This is Dali editor that they call outpainting, and we can do basically, essentially, two things with it. We can either erase the parts of an image and replace it with something else, or we can generate more parts of an image. Let's see. Um, for example, we can go to outpainting editor with two steps. We can just click on upload an image. And here we can select an image we want. We can crop this image and click on edit image. So we are inside Dali outpainting editor. Next thing, uh, the other thing that we can do is we can just click on here and click on try outpainting. And it will also take us to the outpainting editor. In this case, our image is already in the generation frame. So we want to generate an image over here. But in this case, the generation frame is empty. We can add an image here by clicking over here. And we can add our image. So we can reduce the size of an image in this case. Let's say I'm, I want this size to be over here. So in this case, you have seen that uh, we can generate a, an image over here because there is an empty generation frame. But let's say we want to remove something from an image, then we will use this method. I can do is what I do is I can just uh, take an eraser and let's say I want to remove this part. I want to remove this tree from an image. I'll just erase this. Okay, now I need to give uh, uh, some prompt about what the image is about. I'll just say landscape painting of a lake. Okay, and I'll, I'll just click generate and it will try to uh, generate something uh, and try to fill this area. Another thing that I do is here in this image, you can see there is an extra area. I can also light here. I can, I want to fill this area over here. This is another thing that we can do with Dali. We can fill extra areas or we can erase a part of an image. I can just write here again, what the image is about landscape painting of a lake and click on generate here you can see we have uh, two generations and let's see what Dali comes up with and let's see if Dali fills this area also let's see in this image if Dali removes this properly here you can see inside the first image Dali successfully replaced that tree with something else we can see the results here you can see this is pretty good also, you can see the other images. This one is really great. You can see this one. It filled it as good. And we have this one. I like this one. So you can remove any parts of an image with the help of Dolly like this. You just need to give a prompt related to what the image is about. I'll just click over here and I like this one. I can just download it from here. 
Okay, so this image is downloaded as you can see over here. Now let's go and see the results of another image. Here you can see Dali has successfully created this extra area over here and it also gave us four different options. The first one, the second one, the third and fourth one. I think I like this third one better and it has successfully created the extra area with the help of generation frame. So you can create extra areas in your images and you can also remove parts of the image. Let's download this one as well. First accept this. This is complete and download it from here. So these are the two things that Dali can do. Here you can see this is first image and you can see the results of the same image as well. Now you know how to use uh, Dali out painting feature to erase parts of an image and also with the generation frame add more parts to an image. Hi, in this third section of the course, we will be going through step by step process how to create this masterpiece over here. So let's get started. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. Let's see how we can create realistic images, realistic portraits of people uh, with Dali. So, okay, uh, so I'm going to show you how you can do that yourself. Just follow my steps. Uh, first of all, we need to, uh, uh, to give Dali the information about the model. The more information we can give Dali, the more better results we will get. Okay. So first of all, I will go with uh, what I want with uh, the shot. So I want a photo of a face, for example, I can add a photo of a face or I can add a photo of a closed face maybe. You can add close of face or you can add just a face. I'm going to go with face. So I want a face. Okay. So then I can add stuff like, is it a male model that I want or a female model? I can go with, uh, for example, a female model. So, okay. So we have close of face uh, of a female model. Okay. So we have a female model or we can say uh, supermodel etc and then we can add uh, or we can uh, also add like uh, netflix model female netflix series model we can also add that and uh, we can add other stuff like about the expression of that model that we want we can add stuff like a smiling face or a neutral expression face i'm going to go with uh, a neutral neutral expression face okay so i'm going to go with neutral expression face uh, we can go with smiling face angry face etc we can add stuff like details about her face uh, or her hair i can have long red hair short blonde hair or i can i want i don't want i don't want any hair i can add stuff like that i'm going to go with long maybe short short blonde Blonde hair. So I'm gonna, I messed up the spelling here. So short blonde hair. Uh, we can also uh, tell about the face. I can add like a symmetric face if I want. Okay, I can add other stuff like uh, is it facing towards the camera? Is it not facing towards the camera? Opposite to the camera, etc. etc. I'm just say facing towards camera okay we can add other stuff like uh, uh, front facing side facing etc i'm facing towards the camera or front facing let's say because it's front, front facing and it is facing towards camera we can i can add stuff like uh, is it uh, the photo is taken indoor um, or it is taken outdoor i'll just say uh, outdoor lighting so uh, add outdoor lighting to the image as well. So it's it looks like it is taking uh, it taken outdoor. I can add uh, like uh, Netflix style or I said I think I should go with documentary style as well because we added Netflix style. Let's say uh, I also like the style of documentaries. Uh, whenever the photographs are taken for documentaries, I really love that style. I can add stuff like that. Uh, you can add stuff like you want it to be. Uh, professional photography if you know professional photography you can add stuff like uh, 
uh, set 5 millimeter lens or 120 millimeter lens, whatever lens you want, we'll add that as well. Um, Dolly will take into account that as well. We can add stuff like uh, 4K Ultra HD image or 8K. Uh, in my case, 8K Ultra HD. So you can add more stuff as well. But I'm going to go with uh, this information. You can add more stuff about uh, the dress of uh, the model, etc. etc. I'm going to go and click generate and let's see uh, what our prompts will give us. Either we can get um, a professional looking photograph or not. Let's wait a couple of seconds and here are our results. Okay. I'm really excited to see the results. Okay, I really love these results, you know. Okay, so this one right here, really great. I have created a photorealistic image uh, and it is a really good portrait created with the help of Dolly. We can also add like, you know, uh, the red color eyes or, you know, blue colored eyes, etc, etc. We can also talk about the lipstick if you want. So we can add other stuff as well. But with these types of information, as I showed you, we can create photorealistic portraits uh, with the help of Dolly. And these, this person does not exist in real life. We have just created it with the help of AI. You can just download this image and you can use it wherever you want or you can sell it on marketplaces as I will show you in the future videos. Hello and what's up everybody welcome back to yet another video. In previous video what we did is we created our portrait with the help of Dolly. This is another portrait that I created with the help of Dolly and in this portrait I wanted to create uh, something like that something that inspires Lord of the Rings and I wanted a dramatic background. So these are the few things that I changed. Uh, so there's a dramatic background you can see and somehow somehow it's uh, the woman is presenting uh, the Lord of Rings maybe uh, Dolly added this uh, ring type thing or something but basically uh, I gave a few more prompts like a symmetric face, uh, moody background etc etc Netflix style uh, as well as I added that I want this in the style of Lord of Rings and I also wanted uh, jewelry uh, on the uh, uh, on the model so we got jewelry here as well Basically, um, this is created with the simple method that we used uh, in the previous video. But uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and modify this into this one. So basically, uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can um, make our AI portrait more better and good looking just like this. From this to this. So basically, uh, we are, I'm going to show you an AI tool that will help you make your portraits better with like this okay so let's go and hop into our tool this is a gfp game so uh, you can uh, access this website uh, this tool this is available on google collab you can access this by the link uh, in the description so uh, i have given the link in the description of this lecture of course and you can Copy that link, paste it in Google, and you will end up here. So here, when once you end up here, it's really simple to do. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go here and you will see an option to connect. So here you can see I am already connected. So if I disconnect and delete runtime. So what you need to do is you need to click here and connect. To the host run so okay you will see the option of connect here i was already connected so i disconnected first and then i connect so uh, you need to do this at first and once you do it it will take some time and it will start initiating and the program and once it starts initiating it will be connected oh okay so scroll down and here you can see that this is the preparation uh, so basically we are trying to make our portraits better with the help of this tool. So it's free to use, just go over here. And here you can see the first step is the preparation. Scroll down, so this is the preparation phase. We are uh, trying to prepare our code. Just click on this run option and you will see this dialog box. Just click on run anyway. And here you can see it will start running the first code. Uh, so it is really simple to do. We are just running a few codes. Um, just I'll just click on here. Uh, and it will start running the code and 
once it is completed running the code it will give us a success button and then we will start towards the next step so we have to wait a couple of seconds uh, till it completes so here you can see it took 26 seconds and now it is completed just scroll down you can see here there's a lot of stuff scroll like this and here you can see this is our second option you can upload an image or you can use the demo images so of course we want to upload an image so if you want to upload an image just play this one and if you want to use a random image just play this so we are going to upload an image i'll just play this one and it will start playing also it will give you an option to choose a file just click on here and we're going to choose a file a portrait that we created with the help of uh, with the help of Dolly. So let's say uh, where is our portrait? I have it in downloads. Here you can see I have both of these pictures here. So this is our portrait and this is what we generated. So I'm going to click on the portrait and click open. So what it will start doing is it will uh, start uploading the file. Here you can see 0% done. 6% done and so on so forth. So it is really simple to do. You are just uh, running some code really, really easily and you are uploading your files. Okay, so uh, make sure the file is not too big because uh, it takes some time to upload. As you can see, the file is really, really small, but it's still taking some time. It's okay. Make sure the file is not too big. Uh, it will be okay. 51% uh, of it, it will take some time and then you can see uh, you can uh, use the demo images we don't want that so it's complete here and then uh, after it is uploaded 100% we'll move into the third step which is the interfer interference okay so let's wait a couple of seconds it's 70% done 77% so we are trying to basically uh, fix our photos and make them better 83% done 90% Come on, 96% and here we go. We have 100% uploaded our images. Here you can see it took one minute and here's a success. Okay, come here into interference and just run this one. So uh, after running this, uh, let's wait a couple of more seconds and Now it's complete after 23 seconds, just scroll down here, you can visualize, just click over here. Uh, and now let's see, um, after clicking visualize, you will be able to see your image over here. So here you can see, this is the image that we provided and this is the output, which looks really, really good. So if you scroll down, the next step is to download the image. Here you can download the results, just click over here. And run this option to download the results so it will download a zip file so as I'm downloading this zip file it is also consuming uh, some uh, power from my computer as well so uh, if your computer heats up, that's fine. That's okay. It's normal. Because you can see it is uh, taking your RAM and taking your disk and running all of the processes on your computer. That's absolutely fine if your uh, computer heats up. I have a good device, so I don't have a problem. So you can see the file is downloaded. I can just click here, show in folder. Here you can see our file has been downloaded. Right click and extract here. Yes to all. 
And here you can see after extracting, we have the results folder over here. And I can see here that we have our image. Now we have downloaded our image and we have completely modified it and made it better with the help of this tool called GFP CAN interface. So that's it. That's how you can uh, make the uh, AI images, AI portraits a lot, lot better with the help of this tool. Try this tool and let me know what you think about it. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll see how to expand an image with the help of DALI. So we are going to use a generation frame in this video. So let's see. Uh, let's say that uh, first of all, we need to select an image. I'll just upload an image over here and I'll select this image that we created and click open. So crop this image to your liking. I'll just crop it over here. And now we need to edit the image. Now here you can see uh, we have a few options like select. I can select the generation frame. I can pan this area like this. Also, I can erase stuff like I want to erase this. I don't want this option to be in here because I want to fill it. And I also have the option to add more images. Uh, I don't want to add more images. I have this image for now. And there is another option which is add generation frame. So I want, let's say I want to generate something over here. I want to complete her head. So I'll just click over here or maybe, maybe a little bit high. So let's select a generation frame. But here you can see we have selected the area. Uh, and I want to fill this area with something that Dolly can help us with. So Dolly will fill this area. I'm going to go and give the uh, Dolly the information about the image. It's the Moody portrait of a woman with jewelry. Okay. A woman with jewelry in inspired by lot of rings okay i mean uh, we are going to give the information about the image and click on generate so dolly will try to generate uh, image over here and will try to uh, <clears throat> fix the image and for example, in this area, uh, Dali can create the full head of uh, this model. And also, um, because we added jewelry, it might add something over here on the top. And I'm expecting that Dali will add this red and black background as well. So, uh, so I'm expecting good results. So let's see what Dali comes up with. I'm going to pause this video and I'll show you the results. So now you can see after one minute, uh, we can see the results. So here's the first result we got. Uh, this is the second one. This is not quite good. Uh, the third one, it is good. I like the horns and the fourth. The fourth one is not good. Uh, the third one is good and the first one. So I think I'm going to go with uh, the third one. No. Let's see. The first one is also good. Hmm. So whichever one of these, of these you like, uh, let's say we like the third one, I'll just gonna accept this. So you can see uh, we have this image of ours and you can see here there are uh, a few problems. Here's a line in between. So you can later fix this uh, in Photoshop or you can fix, uh, fix this with the tool that we used before. So. What we can do next is we can generate over here as well. I'm going to click over here and we are, uh, let's say we want to generate something over here. So again, uh, we can add uh, something like black multi background. So you can add um, how many generation frame you want. You can add as many generation frames, but you know, it will cost you one credit okay for example if i create one generation over here and then i go here two then three and then four then it will cost me uh, four credits and i will be left with 16 credits okay so uh, it will 
it will cost you credits but you can generate as many of these generation frames you want let's say we want to generate this i'm going to click on generate So you can see we got four results. Uh, the first one is over here. So it is <laughs> like this. Uh, Dali generated another image over here. If I go here, so this one is uh, a little bit better than that. If I go into third image, it's a lot worse. And this fourth one, I really like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. I'll just accept it. Okay. So if I move the generation frame, you can see uh, the image is getting better okay so if you want you can download this image uh, now but i'm gonna go and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create more of it okay so i'll click on generate so you can see we got our results uh, this is the first one it's the second one the second one looks good with this lighting here the third one it's a lot better and here's the fourth because it adds text i don't like it i like the third one better i'll just accept it now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one over here and then one over here and we will be good to go so i'm going to add it over here and generate so now here you can see we got our results and this is the first one the second one the third one and the fourth one okay so i don't like any of these so we can just cancel as well so this is another option you can just cancel the stuff and you can just start generating again let's generate here so we got our results here so this is the first one which is actually great uh, the second one is a hand over here which i don't want the third one here it adds a little bit more jewelry but there is a hand over here which i again don't like and this is the fourth one. fourth one is also good but i think i like the first one better and the fourth one is also good so let's go with the first one and let's accept this okay we so like this image and there is a last generation that i want so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click generate. So here you can see we have our final generation ready as well. So this is our first image. So this is second one, the third and the fourth. So of course, uh, I like the third one. Third one is looking good. The uh, first one is also looking good, but I think I'm going to go with this third one and I'll just accept this. So here you can see if I remove this generation frame over here, so you can see the image is a lot uh, better than it was before. So what we can do is we can just click over here and download this image. So this is how the generation frame works. I, if I of course go here, I can generate more, but for now, I think this is good for us and let's meet in the next video. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll see how to remove these lines if you get one a uh, few of these lines in your photos how to remove these lines with the help of photoshop adobe photoshop so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to drag this image inside photoshop and drop it over here so we have our image open inside photoshop so if you used photoshop before you will be familiar but if you haven't used it before i'll make it really really simple for you i'm going to go and here you can see this lasso tool. I'll just click on this lasso tool and I'll select this crease over here, just like this. And I'll press shift backspace and make sure the content aware is selected over here and click OK. So you can see that the crease is removed from here. You can also do this from here, shift backspace and enter. So we have removed here as well, but there is a slight problem over here. But if I want to do it uh, with this method, it might work, it might not work. Let's see, shift backspace and enter. So it worked, but it's not that great according to me. So on something like this, one thing like this, what we can do is, you can also go and click on this healing brush. 
you can see spot healing brush I'm just click on here and I'll just with this healing brush I'm gonna do is I am going to remove this piece really, really simple okay you can do uh, do fix other things as well with this brush I'm just increase the size of the brush with the right bracket or left bracket and you can just go on and make your image a lot lot better so it's a lot better also uh, here it is uh, the dolly watermark I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is I'll go with healing brush and make it a little bit bigger and just remove this as well okay so it's really really simple and then boy go and file export and export as so you can export it in PNG. I'm going to go with PNG and export. I'm going to save it to desktop and save. So this is how you can fix your images inside Photoshop. Let's move on to the next video. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we'll see how to edit or modify your images inside Dali. So I'll click on just upload an image and here we need to upload an image. So let's say we will be uploading this image of a cyberpunk style image. I'll just crop this one and here you can see I can generate variations and I can edit this image. I'm gonna go with generate variations and let's see uh, if we click on generate variations uh, what type of um, variation of this image we get with the help of Dali. Let's wait a couple of seconds and let's see the results. So here you can see Dali has generated a few more images related to our previous one. You can see these images these are not as great as the original one, of course, because they are created with the help of AI. But you can always go and click on variations and get a more better version of that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you that um, we can get the variations with the help of uh, the image. Also, what we can do is if I go back to Dali upload an image I can erase stuff for example in this uh, picture just crop it to your liking in this picture of minion crop and let's edit this image so when I click on edit this image I get with um, I get this eraser so here you can see I have this mouse select I have this pan option to pan I have this erase option I have generation frame I have upload image etc etc I'll just go with erase and here uh, you can see so here you can see I can erase stuff inside the image and Dolly will add uh, an area to that and make it feel like uh, nothing is nothing was there so for example I want to erase this pair anywhere I'll just erase this stuff like this and after erasing this stuff, I want to fill this space with something related to minion. So it's I will fill it with an arm. So basically, it does not look bad. So what I'm going to do is uh, Dali will do it for me. I'm just ask Dali about describe what is in here. I'll just ask Dali that this is a photo of a minion carrying a Teddy bear. So this is basically a photo of a minion carrying a teddy bear or I would just say a minion carrying a teddy bear. This will be enough. Let's click on generate and basically I want Dali to add this extra space that I removed. So let's see what Dali comes up with. So here you can see uh, Dali automatically added uh, this arm over here and if you can see it has created three more results. So if I go here, this is another result, third result and the fourth result. So, okay. so let's see which one looks better. I think uh, the first one is good, but the last one is the best. So, okay, so uh, I'll just accept this. So here you can see we have created our image and it looks really great. If you see over here, it is really great and we have removed stuff from an image. So basically you can upload any of your images and you can try to remove it with the help of this awesome AI Dali 2. So here you can see the, that we have the download option to download the image as well. So if you click on this download button, 
you will be able to download the file just like that so if I click over here so here you can see we have downloaded the file so this is the after and if I were to show you the before version you can see this is the before of this image so basically you can remove stuff from an image with the help of DALI. So in this fourth and the final section of the course, we will see how you can make money with your AI generated art. So let's get started. Hello and what's up everybody. Welcome back to the course. In this video, I will show you how you can sell your services, DALI services online. So first of all, um, the first thing that you can do is create an account on Fiverr and on Fiverr, you can sell your AI services. If I go here to AI services, Fiverr.com AI services, you can see that uh, Fiverr is providing um, pay AI services. You, so you can provide your AI services here on Fiverr and you can sell your art here as well. So this is the first thing that you can do is sell your art with on Fiverr and you can also do it on other websites like Upwork. You can go here and create an account on Upwork as an AI artist and you can sell your services here on this website as well. Another thing that you can do is you can go on to freelancer.com. So freelancer.com is another website here. You can see there are many people that are working over here, getting thousands of reviews and you can you sell your AI services, dummy services here on this platform as well. Another thing that we do is you can sell your art on Shutterstock. On Shutterstock, you can see that you can buy uh, images and you can sell your images on Shutterstock as well. There is a recent update that you can sell your uh, Shutterstock is allowing you to sell your services, sell your uh, AI art on it as well. So uh, you can sell your Shutterstock, uh, your images, AI art on Shutterstock as well. Another thing that you can do is you can sell your stuff on Adobe Stock. So you can also create an account on Adobe Stock and you can sell your services here as well. Another website that you can use to sell your stuff is Redbubble. Redbubble is basically a print on demand site. Basically, you uh, print your designs on bags, on phone covers, on stickers, uh, on hoodies, and you sell it that way. Redbubble gives you the commission for each product they sell. So basically, this is also a good thing to do with uh, AI art. And this website that you can use is Teespring. This is also a print on demand site. It prints your designs on shirts, on caps, on bags, on uh, on a lot of stuff, on stickers, on uh, you know pants, etc., etc. So basically, they are selling your designs on their stuff, and they are giving you a commission on that. So you can sell your AI art on Teespring as well. Another thing that you can do is uh, to create your store on Etsy. On Etsy, you can sell uh, your design as well by, you know, printing your design as uh, this portrait over here. You can print your designs on stuff like, uh, um, like t-shirts, like jewelry, accessories. You can do a lot of stuff here and you can sell your designs and posters over here on Etsy as well. And in last, uh, you can also sell your NFTs by creating AI art NFTs. Um, you can create your NFTs and you can sell your NFTs on OpenSea. You can create all your NFTs in Dali and you can sell them over here. This is the one thing that you can do. And these are all the ways and there are other ways as well. But these are the main ways that you can use and uh, must try one of these. Uh, you can use these ways to sell your AI art that you are creating and uh, you can later use that money to buy more credits on Dali.